What's up YouTube? It's that Zippo guy and I'm back. Uh, I have a lighter that I've had for a little bit and I'm going to show you guys um, how to uh, repack it or refill it or whatever you guys want to call it. Um, so here's my lighter here. It's, I picked it up from a truck stock. It was about $30, $35. Can't remember. Um, so when they, when I got this lighter, um, the, I'm, I'm just pulling the insert out here. So when they give you the lighter, um, most of the time, the, um, wick, the little, uh, the, uh, strip, like the fuse looking thing, um, usually is, uh, stuck towards the top here. So what they do is whenever they pack that, they're going to put that wick in and they're going to stuff that cotton into where it's all gonna, just going to be down here. So whenever you put that fluid in or whatever, it's only, it's just going to get stuck in that cotton and a little bit of it's going to get to that wick. And you don't want that because it's only going to last like a week because you can fill it and fill it and fill it and that's just how they get you to buy more fluid. So, um, here I'm just going to, now I did fill this one in myself, but I'm just, just going to show you guys how you want to repack and refill it. So, um, first you're going to want to take a penny or your fingernail or something like that and you're just going to want to, um, twist that little screw here until it gets kind of loose and you're going to want to keep unscrewing it. And this thing has a big old spring that shoots through here to the flint in here. So you, you got to be careful with this. So you, whenever you're undoing it, you got to, it's going to pop out just like that and it's going to pull out. So whenever you're doing this, you want to make sure it's kind of propped up because that flint's going to be in here. And if you're doing it at the bottom, it's going to fly out and you're never going to find your flint again. So I'm going to show you guys the flint. It's going to dump it out here. Um, you better look at that. Sorry. A little flint. And then um, here's your cotton pad. And you're just going to want to kind of pull that out. And you don't want to pull it out super hard because you don't want to hurt that chimney. So you're just going to kind of ease it out. So I repacked this like I said. Um, I haven't filled it with fluid yet. Um, I tried to get it to light like an idiot um and it burned the uh top of the wick here so what you're gonna want to do here is you want to grab that wick and just pull it up a little bit and this cotton you want to pull that cotton down they're in strips so they're not cotton balls or cotton strips so you're gonna want to pull some of that out and if you can pull the wick out just pull the wick out um and pull all these cotton strips out and all you need for this, I mean, I might look dumb, but all you really need is butter and knife or two to get these out. So, I made sure to pack some cotton right here um, with the fifth one. You don't have to do that. If I mean, I did it because um, to hold more fluid in there, but I uh, also like how it's kind of packed in here. So, I'm not going to be taking that out because that was a little bit of a hassle to get that in there, but... As you can see, it's a little empty in here. There's, uh, you can see the little hole through here. And uh, what you're going to want to do here is with your flint, or I mean, not your flint, your, uh, your wick right here is you want to straighten it out. And then um, for now, I'm going to be using the uh, fresh new tip uh, instead of the burnt one. So you're going to want to take it. You want to kind of twist it to keep sure, make sure, keep sure, make sure it's uh, kind of tight like that. And then you're going to want to um, put it through bottom here. You're just going to, because you're, you're just going to be pushing that way through that little hole. Bottom. And it's going to be coming out the top just like that. You can see that. So you're going to, you can see it going through, through the, uh, to the hole. And then what I like to do is I like to pull it down to where you can slightly feel it on your finger whenever you put it on the top. So the next step, what I usually do is I will grab the wick and I'll push it to the side with my finger like that. Because you're just going to roll your finger in there and push it to the side to keep it still. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to kind of snake it in there. So you bend a little bit. So it kind of has like a little bit of an S in it. 
like a little snake. And then you just push it to where it's kind of going to look like that in there. Okay. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your butter knife here and you're going to want to push it to the wall. You're going to take that wick and you're going to push it to that wall right here. And you do that, push it, and uh, you're going to want to take one of your cotton strips and you're going to want to put it. So here's how you want to do it. You want to put some of it like that and you're going to fold over, fold that cotton over and put it in like that and fold over again and push it like that and then you're going to take that and then you're going to just push it down a little bit not too hard just a little bit of pressure and then you're going to take your you're going to um do that and then with the same side you're pushing on you're going to push that cotton and that wick to the wall again so you're just going to pretty much see how the cotton is kind of only on one side you want it to be on both so you're going to stick that um, uh, butter knife in and you're going to push it to the wall. So that's what we're going to do here. And uh, we're going to do that. Hold on. Wish I had three hands. So you're going to do that. And you're going to take one of these cotton strips. Hold on. One of these cotton strips. You're going to have it like that, and you're going to keep doing that thing that I told you to do. You're going to put it in. You're going to fold it over. Fold it over again. Push it down a little bit with your fingers. You're going to take that, and you're going to push it down in there a little bit. So you want to make sure your wig doesn't move much. You don't want that to mess up. And then you're going to go back to the other side. And keep doing the same thing until... Um, you have all of the cotton strips in there, so you can roll them out to where they'll look like that You kind of just keep doing that until um, All of them are in there Just like that and then we're gonna go to the other side Just like that Take these cotton strips like I said, you can use tweezers for this, or if you have like an actual tool for it, you can use that. Um, but I just stick with butter knives. Because I'm broke. And you just push that down a little bit in there. Okay. I'm just going to pull that. Oh, shit. I'll put that in after I pull that wick out a little bit more. So we're going to... You want that wick to be somewhat at the top here. Hold on, I'll show you guys once I get it there. You want that wick to be out a little bit. If you can see it. And you're gonna wanna, I got, I'm gonna have to redo this part. Cause it fell out, didn't push it down hard enough. Bam. Bop. And then we're just gonna push that down in there. Nice tight. Okay, so there we have it. We have all of them packed in there. We're just going to put that wick over the top. That's what's going to look like that, right? You can have it all packed in there on each side. The wick is going to be right, push over to the side. So you, you want that wick to be out at the top, right where you're putting that fuel in. Because whenever it's all scrunched up at the bottom, like how they give it to you, it's just going to go into that cotton. It's going to stay in that cotton. But if that wick is snaking through there to the top it's going to hit that wick and it's going to go all the way in there to the top and it's going to hold in that cotton so then uh you pretty much just put it back together so you want to pop that flint back in there and you want to take this uh cotton or this uh pad the cotton pad and if you're going to be refilling it and filling it you want to give it a little squeeze like that so it has a little bend in it like that then you're gonna push that in there, and you're just gonna kick it in just like that. It's a little bit sticking out, so you can lift up and stuff like that. And you want to take the, your spring. Whenever you're putting back in there, you're gonna have to. Oh, and by the way, whenever you put your flint in there, you want to kind of kick this a little bit so it don't get stuck right when you put it in there. So um, when you're doing that, you want to put a little bit of force on it. 
once you get it spinning, you ain't got to worry about it popping out. So then you just keep doing that. And then you don't have to have it too tight. So then now you have, see, there it goes getting stuck. There we go. And then you get it lighting a little bit, and it'll start getting it. So then you want to make sure, depending on if you're wanting to do tricks, so your wick can be open like that. And if you want to do some tricks, well, I'll, which I'll show in another video, push it off to the side just like that. And then you put it back in your insert, and you got a fully fixed lighter. Lighter.